So Jen's face is now ready to go. We've put foundation on, eyeshadow base, the brows are done, looking great. So now it's time for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use these three shades right here on her eye, light, medium, and dark, okay? I'm not gonna go to this color yet, uh, except if she's wearing a darker outfit, I might go a little bit darker, but for today, no. So I'm gonna show you how to work with these three shades right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lightest shade, close for me please, and I'm gonna highlight her brow bone. So what I'm using is that, that vanilla shade. Very light. Turn towards me, please. Same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna blend this onto her eye area. You can blend down this a little bit on her lid before we continue. Good, and come back to center. Now, the next color I'm gonna use is the lavender. Now this lavender is sort of the key to this look for, uh, for Jen's eyes. This is a look that's really, it's not darker than her eye color, but it's the contrast color to her eye color. So what that's gonna do is make her eye color pop just a little bit more. Great for green eyes. And if you, of course, want a higher impact, you go with a, a darker, a higher intensity lavender purple shade on the ball of your eye. And it really does create um, a, a real strong contrast to make the green pop. Turn towards me. And that looks really, really, really pretty. I'm gonna continue on with the contour for her eye. So the last color I'm gonna use is more of a golden taupe shade. And I'm gonna start right in the outer corner of Jen's eye. So how do I know where to start? I draw a line from the nose right past the corner of her eye. See that? That's right where her eyebrow finishes. And that's where I start with my dark eyeshadow. I push my brush right up into the crease, so there, her brow bone is right above my brush and I'm actually pushing up under her brow bone with this contour. You don't have to create anything on your eye. What you need to do is you fill in your own anatomy. So you push up with your brush and you brush in and also brush down towards the corner of the eye. Once you've established color, then you can come back and forth with your brush and let the tip of that brush do the work. It's your job just to follow the curvature of the bone. A big mistake is right here at the corner of the eye, our bone really curves quickly. It drops down, but a lot of people continue out with their eye shadow. That definitely distorts the shape of your eye and pulls your eye in the wrong direction. So make sure once you get out to this corner that this wraps tight right down to that corner. That'll really open up your eye and give you that beautiful, professional, open eye. Open, please. Very natural looking, opens her eye up, um, and that's the perfect way to get your eye prepared for eyeshadow for a professional look. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look, as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com